let me tell you about Lemmy. Kourtney Kardashian's Lemmy brand is currently under investigation and she could be facing a lawsuit for false advertising these gummies that she has been selling. Hey, tea lovers, grab your popcorn and buckle up because we've got a juicy scandal on our hands that's hotter than a Kardashian Instagram post. Kourtney Kardashian's vitamin line, Lemmy, is getting dragged into the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. And trust me, this mess is messier than a reality TV drama. So let's dive into the explosive details of the class action lawsuit that's got everyone talking. Lemmy Courtney's venture into the wellness world was supposed to be a game changer. Launched in September 2022, it promised to bring a fresh take on health and wellness with a Kardashian twist. But, oh boy, if you thought this was going to be a smooth ride, think again. From the very start, Lemmy was met with skepticism and outright disdain. The brand faced backlash from critics who were just fed up with yet another celebrity-backed wellness line. Now, with the two-year mark approaching, instead of celebrating milestones, Lemmy is tangled up in legal trouble. That's right, folks. A class-action lawsuit has been filed, and it's got all the drama of a season finale. When Lemmy first burst onto the scene, it did so with a lot of hype, but not exactly in the way you might have expected. The initial range, including Lemmy Matcha, Lemmy Chill, and Lemmy Focus, seemed like a safe bet. These were just vitamins, after all. The initial excitement quickly faded as the brand faced criticism and skepticism. It seemed that the wellness world was already saturated with celebrity-endorsed products, and Lemmy's entry didn't exactly stand out in a meaningful way. Then came 2023, and with it a new product that promised to shake things up, Lemmy Purr. Marketed as a vaginal health gummy, Lemmy Purr aimed to offer immune support with a sweet touch of pineapple. It sounded like a clever twist on wellness supplements, but the marketing campaign was anything but subtle. Courtney's promotional push was as flashy and provocative as her Instagram posts, and the bold claims quickly ignited a storm of controversy. The hype surrounding Lemmy Purr wasn't just about its innovative approach, it also set off a wave of backlash. Critics pounced on the supplement's marketing as being overly sensational and misleading. What was meant to be a unique addition to the wellness market became a focal point for debate, leading to a cascade of negative attention that has only intensified as the brand faces legal troubles. Courtney's big reveal on Instagram was a textbook example of, if you're going to stir the pot, make sure you don't make a mess. She wrote, your cat is going to love this. Meet Lemmy Purr, our new vaginal health gummy. Vaginal health is such an important part of women's overall well-being and not talked about enough, which is why we're so excited to launch this. Give your vagina the sweet treat it deserves. Well, if that didn't raise eyebrows, I don't know what would. The backlash was swift and harsh. Doctors, gynecologists, and health experts lined up to criticize the campaign, calling it harmful and misleading. They argued that promoting a supplement as a way to change the taste or smell of your vagina was not only unscientific, but downright problematic. A gynecologist with a PhD in vaginal microbiome research has delivered a scathing indictment of Lemmy Purr, and it's nothing short of a sensational expose. According to this expert, the idea that probiotics can single-handedly solve intricate health issues is nothing more than a delusion. They're adamant that splurging $40 on a gummy promising to revolutionize your vaginal health is a sheer waste, branding it as a flashy gimmick rather than a legitimate remedy. This stark critique reveals the underlying issue of how trendy wellness products often prey on consumer gullibility. The lack of scientific backing for Lemmy Purr is another damning factor. Despite its bold claims, there is scant concrete evidence supporting the supposed benefits of these supplements. The expert dismisses the product's efficacy, emphasizing that while probiotics have their place in health, they aren't the miraculous fix that Lemmy Purr touts itself to be. The extravagant promises of this high-priced gummy stand in stark contrast to the reality of its minimal proven value, leaving consumers in a lurch. Even if you're on the hunt for a probiotic, the expert contends that Lemmy Purr is far from the best option. Instead of a celebrity-endorsed product with dubious claims, there are other, more scientifically validated choices available on the market. The stark reality is that Lemmy Purr's hefty price tag and celebrity sheen are more about capitalizing on hype than delivering real health benefits. 
The allure of the Kardashian brand might be tempting, but it doesn't substitute for actual efficacy. What's even more troubling is the way Lemmy Purr might exploit and manipulate women's insecurities. The product's marketing, which suggests it can transform and enhance vaginal health, taps into deep-seated insecurities and perpetuates unrealistic beauty standards. This approach is not just misleading, it's downright exploitative, preying on vulnerabilities to boost sales, rather than offering genuine science-backed health solutions. As this lawsuit unfolds, it's becoming increasingly clear that Kourtney Kardashian's venture into wellness might be unraveling under the weight of its own hype and controversy. The flashy marketing and high price tag are exposed for what they truly are, an elaborate facade masking a product that falls far short of its promises. It didn't stop at Lemmy Purr. Analysis revealed that many of Lemmy's products were no different from your average off-the-shelf supplements. The hefty price tag was attributed to the Kardashian name and flashy marketing, not to any groundbreaking ingredients. Courtney's team did nail the marketing, though. The packaging was cute, the website was slick, and influencers were all over it. Everyone on TikTok was raving about how Lemmy Purr was a game-changer, with some even claiming their partners noticed a difference. But seriously, why would anyone trust their dusty boyfriend Josh over scientific evidence? Then came the video that truly shattered the facade surrounding Lemmy. Better pulled back the curtain on Lemmy's dubious practices by exposing the use of proprietary blends. This term, while sounding scientific and impressive, actually refers to a deceptive tactic used by supplement companies. Instead of disclosing the exact amounts of each ingredient, companies simply provide a total quantity of the blend, leaving consumers in the dark about how much of each specific ingredient is actually present. This means that the advertised, supposedly beneficial ingredients could be present in minuscule amounts, while the bulk of the supplement consists of fillers. Be Better's expose went viral almost instantly, igniting a wildfire of backlash. Viewers were stunned to learn that Lemmy's glamorous marketing might have been hiding a less appealing reality. As the video circulated, many customers began to question the true value of their Lemmy purchases. The viral scandal prompted a significant re-evaluation of the brand, leading numerous people to abandon Lemmy in favor of more transparent and trustworthy alternatives. Law firm Zimmerman Reed has launched a formal investigation into Lemmy, accusing the brand of deceptive marketing practices. Their scrutiny is particularly focused on Lemmy Purr gummies, but they're also investigating other products in the line, including Lemmy Curb, Lemmy Deep Bloat, and Lemmy Matcha. The firm is delving into whether Lemmy misled consumers with inflated or misleading claims about the effectiveness of these supplements. Zimmerman Reed's investigation is centered on determining if Lemmy's marketing was deceptive, especially regarding the purported benefits of its products. They are examining whether the claims made about Lemmy Purr and other supplements were exaggerated, leading consumers to believe they were receiving health benefits that the products might not actually deliver. For those who suspect they have been misled by Lemmy's advertising, Zimmerman Reed is offering a case review form to assess potential claims. The form asks if individuals have purchased any of Lemmy's products and whether they believe these products worked as advertised. If the investigation finds that Lemmy's promises were unsubstantiated, consumers who have been deceived might be entitled to compensation. Are we really shocked by this? Given the Kardashians' history of scandals, this lawsuit feels like just another chapter in their reality show of controversies. With more people calling out Lemmy for being overpriced and ineffective, it's no wonder this lawsuit has surfaced. If you're tempted to splurge on celebrity-backed supplements, think twice. There are better, more affordable options out there that don't come with a Kardashian price tag. So, what do you think? Will this lawsuit actually make a difference, or will it be swept under the rug like so many other Kardashian mishaps? Drop your thoughts below and stay tuned for more updates. Until next time, keep sipping that tea.